Hi friends, Amy started in the kitchen with you again for another great recipe as part of our six weeks to summer, which is now far less than six weeks, but our kickoff to summer countdown. And I have another great summer dip for you today. Super easy, three ingredients is all you need, a little bit of salt and pepper on top of that, and you're good to go. I love this, I stole this from my mom, she taught it to me, and I used it for years as a caterer because it's such a great base to have on hand and it dresses up things like tacos because we're gonna do a taco night. Super easy, okay? All right, first things first, avocado. I cut mine ahead of time. How happy are you when your avocado looks like that when you crack it open? I mean, that's just amazing. Okay, so avocado, yum, yum, yum. And I'm just going to slice it up here. I just kind of slice it crosswise, get it going. You don't even really have to do that. You could just put it right into your food processor. This just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna add my avocado to my little food processor. And if you have a magic bullet or something like that, that would work too. So I got one half in there. And you could also do this in a blender. A blender works. My blender's big and makes so much noise. I just wanted to use my little food processor today. A hand, an immersion blender would work too. And anything that, any food processor that you have. Doesn't have to be fancy. Okay, sprinkling of salt. Just a little bit. Pepper. A little bit of pepper. And to that, I'm going to, here, okay, I'm gonna zing it up a little bit first. A little bit first. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a splash of lime juice. Okay, so maybe a tablespoon. And here, a, I have, I always have a jar or a can of uh, pureed tomatillos on hand for this dip and for other things too, but it's so great. If you can get just a little can, that's great uh, because you may not use it as frequently as I do. I'm gonna give this a little stir like this to, just to get, it's a bit of the water's come to the top, but I want the thickness, okay? And so now I'm just gonna add about a quarter cup of this. I find, I usually go with about half and half, so equal parts avocado, to your tomatillo mix, okay? And I'm just gonna puree this just until it's smooth or fairly smooth. Scrape down the sides a little. Yeah, this is looking great. It, oh, it's so good. It's so simple and it's so good. Now, to this, you know, I kept it simple. Give me one more sec here. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. Let's organize here. Okay, that is it. That now. I was I was getting mixed up on how many ingredients in there. We've got our avocado, we've got our lime, and we've got our tomatillo. Three ingredients. A little bit of salt and pepper. Gonna give it a taste. And from here, you can keep this in the fridge as is for a while. That lime, you might want a little bit more lime on top to prevent any browning. But it's so simple. It tastes like taco. It's, it's so yummy. You could, from here, add a little cayenne if you wanted to kick it up, a little bit of chopped chilies or chili flakes. You could add some cilantro. I have some here. Um, not everybody likes cilantro, so you could keep it out. You could do a little bit of chives. You could take it all different directions. You could even throw some pomegranates in there. Like in the past, I've done my pomegranate guacamole. That is it. I'm gonna use this for my tacos tonight with my kiddos, and I'm gonna show you exactly what our meal we're doing. Pineapple chicken tacos using that gorgeous barbecue sauce. This is where we're gonna have some fun because the last few weeks up until today, we have been putting together some great components for you to have on hand, and now you're gonna see how I play and how I put meals together really quickly using those components in great ways. All right, I hope you're excited for more fun. If you've been enjoying these recipes, be sure to click the link below and you'll get email versions, sorry, you'll get printable versions emailed to you at the end of each week. I think that's all, I'll see you soon. All right, have a great day, bye.